Welcome to Module 1 of the History of Chocolate. Each module of this course is divided into two units. For example, this module contains Unit 1, which introduces you to the study of history, and Unit 2, which introduces the cacao tree. Your professor will post a schedule, which will let you know when each module and unit should be completed. These videos are your first stop at the beginning of each new module and are meant to accompany the other readings, videos, films, or podcasts assigned by your professor for the course. They serve as an introduction to the key concepts to be covered in the module and are not meant to be a substitute for doing the readings themselves. In the first unit of Module 1, we will cover the basic elements of the study of history. In particular, we will discuss how historians learn about the past and the evidence they use. We will learn some new terms, namely primary and secondary sources, as well as historiography. There are accompanying videos which deal with both of these subjects, and you should watch them as part of your coursework this unit. In our first unit, the readings will also consider how food and cultural history are relatively new subjects of interest. Something to think about is how our present culture and interests largely determines what types of questions historians ask of the past. Thus, what interested historians 50 to 60 years ago may be very different from what interests people today. Whole subjects of history, such as women's history for example, largely did not exist as academic subjects prior to the second half of the 20th century. Obviously, women have always existed and have always had a history, but it is only relatively recently that historians have begun to write about it. In the second unit of Module 1, we will examine in detail the plant from which chocolate is made, the cacao tree, which is native to Central and South America. We will also talk about the definition of chocolate. What exactly do we mean when we call something chocolate? What makes it chocolate? As you will see from your readings, the way modern people would most likely think of chocolate, that is, in a solid, sugary form, is not the way chocolate existed for the vast majority of its history. Indeed, chocolate for the majority of its past was prepared and enjoyed as a stimulating and bitter drink, very similar to coffee. We will also briefly cover the difficulties of cultivating the cacao tree and chocolate production. As you'll see, the cacao tree has always been a difficult plant to grow and requires very specific climatic and environmental conditions. This is increasingly important to us today as cacao growers and chocolate producers confront the realities of global warming, a subject that we will return to in our final unit of this course. And finally, a short word about terminology and pronunciation. In this course, we'll generally refer to the plant from which chocolate is made as cacao. This is the original name which developed from the Mesoamerican Aboriginal languages. However, in other parts of the world, and in particular North America, it is also called cocoa. This is not to be confused with another native South American plant, the coca plant, from which cocaine is made and from which the popular soft drink Coca-Cola derives its name. Chocolate is made from cacao or cocoa, not coca. It is important to recognize these different uses and pronunciations since the readings and videos which accompany this course may employ both. <laughs>